Friction and drag forces can be useful. For example, this car stops before the cones because of the friction in the brakes. Friction can be a nuisance. Painful blisters like this are caused by friction between footwear and the skin. But what causes friction? Even surfaces that seem smooth, like this glossy magazine, are actually rough when you zoom in, and it requires effort to slide surfaces like this against each other. This is friction. Sometimes we want to increase friction. In cold climates, people use snow chains like this to increase the grip between the tyres and the road. Sometimes we want to reduce friction, and we do this using lubrication. Snowboarders apply wax to the bottom of their boards to reduce the friction between the board and the snow. Friction occurs between two solids. But what is causing this passenger's hair to be blown back? As the car travels through the air, both the car and the woman experience air resistance, a type of drag force. Air resistance can be explained by thinking about the particles in the air. As a solid moves through the air, it has to push the air particles out of the way. The air particles slow down the object. Drag forces also happen in liquids. It takes effort to push your body through the water when you go swimming. This is because of water resistance. We can explain what is happening by looking at the particles. As a solid moves through the water, it has to push the water particles out of the way. The particles in water are closer together than the particles in air, so the object is slowed down even more by water than by air. As with friction, we sometimes want to increase drag forces. In drag racing, a parachute is used to increase the air resistance and slow down the car quickly at the end of the race. Sometimes we want to reduce drag forces. For example, cars are designed to be streamlined to reduce the air resistance. This allows them to go faster and use less fuel. Nature is full of examples of streamlining. Penguins might look clumsy on land, but their shape makes them excellent swimmers. So, friction and drag forces are all around us. Sometimes we want to increase them, for example by making surfaces rougher, and sometimes we want to decrease them, by streamlining.